Well, all new at five, could gasoline for cars be a thing of the past? Well, French industrial gas services company Air Liquide says yes. Yeah, the company invested $250 million to open the largest liquid hydrogen facility in the world. It's right here in North Las Vegas, and reporter Alyssa Bethencourt shows us how soon we could be hitting the highway using hydrogen. Down a barren dirt road in North Las Vegas, away from the buzz of the city, you'll find a sphere that's changing the landscape of the mobile fuel industry. Air Liquide's new headquarters in the Apex Industrial Park is now the largest hydrogen production facility in the country. Inside, 30 tons of liquid hydrogen are being produced every day to supply fuel cell cars powered by hydrogen instead of gasoline. The liquid hydrogen is produced in state-of-the-art facilities just like this one in North Las Vegas. It's then pumped into trucks and shipped over to different stations where cars can fill up. Cars just like this one run on liquid hydrogen. A gallon of it will cost you about $7, pretty comparable to the current cost of gasoline. The only difference is you're leaving behind a green footprint. Up until now, all of the fuel has been coming from suppliers that, that didn't optimize their, their supply chain. So here's how it works. Methane and steam are combined with a catalyst to produce hydrogen. The hydrogen is then liquefied in very low temperatures minus 500 degrees Fahrenheit to be exact, and it's then transferred to this sphere to be stored. The only footprint that a vehicle like this leaves is water. So the, the hydrogen reacts with the atmospheric air and only water is emitted um, from the vehicle. To date, California has 47 hydrogen fueling stations, Hawaii has one, and every other state, including Nevada, have none. But industry leaders say that'll change soon. We get impressed by, by tens of thousands of cars, but we need to be at the hundreds of thousands and the millions of cars in the, in the relatively near future. So we are on the very early stages of this mass adoption. Aside from making a dent in the fuel industry, the plant is also projected to employ hundreds of locals. It's creating jobs. It's bringing a, a, an entirely new technology uh, to uh, our community, and it's going to continue to help position Nevada uh, to be a leader uh, in renewables with hydrogen at the forefront. Reporting from the Air Liquide facility in North Las Vegas, I'm Lisa Bethencourt. And employees will be operating Air Liquide's plant 24-7, producing about 29 tons of hydrogen a day.